Hi beautiful Scorpio, how are you? If you know how I can, my name is Michelle and today we're going with your reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys, oops, that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles could be reversing between energies. And with this said, let's move forward. I also want to remind you that this is entirely general. Feel free to take or leave whatever you want and the energies could be inverted as well. So we got the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Hangman um the the nine of ones in the reverse um the devil as well Ooh, the page of swords in the reverse the page of wands in the reverse and the moon so we got pisces energy we have libra gemini aquarius of course we got your energy we as well got the capricorn energy and leo aries as well so i do see here that we have we have a, like an uncommon situation scorpio you're going to be in between two very likable energies that one that you have always wanted and the other one too why am i saying it like that it's like it's exactly what you wanted it's like divided in two bodies like two different people having all these qualities that you always wanted and you don't know what to do you have never been put in the situation because it's always like ups and downs in between these two and be between energies that you may encounter in this person and these two people are so good that it's like you don't want to lo like lose neither because they're very very good you like i like them because of that i like that and it's like they treat you well you like them and it's like what do i do now what did i put myself into kind of energy i do feel that it's like the you're gonna have like the little devil here like you know remember the cartoons when it's like the little devil and the little angel that you like go for this go for that and at this point it's like you are attracted physically by both of them or you will be they're very attracted to you they make you feel like butterflies in your stomach and everything and it's just like you don't know and you just don't know what to do it's like it's like the first time in forever perhaps for some of you of course not all of you but for some of you that you may be in this predicament of like i do like two people equally because it's like they chase you the way you want they make you feel important the same the way you like and it's like what do i do like who do i pick with the moon here it's it's pretty much saying that you cannot let like, hide forever forever or you cannot deny this or say like oh i gotta choose kind of energy but the moon right here something comes out from the dark it's like clarity perhaps um some sort of like i don't know information as well that could help you to clear your mind and make a better decision when it comes to the situation but with the five of cups and the ace of wands keep in mind that one of them is going to end up heartbroken okay yes it's sad that's how it works you know when you choose one person over somebody else there's always going to be one of the two that's going to be heartbroken and sad with the hermit in the reverse right here virgo energy again you won't be able to hide forever like i said before you will have to make a decision because there is probably propositions coming from both energies that is going to be hard for you to deny or hard for you to ignore or hard for you to say no and it's like you don't have a lot of time to make a decision it's like now or never um and i do feel like you don't like to be put in that position i'm guessing nobody does but again you're gonna have two energies here i see that you have to make a decision remember one of them is gonna end up heartbroken and it's not gonna be longer and it's not gonna longer be in your life because the other one wants a real relationship and the sad thing and the funny and maybe unusual thing they both want it they both want a relationship the three of pentacles in the reverse and the emperor in the reverse uh aries energy you may say i wish it was easier or i thought this is what i wanted it was going to be easier and it's like yes you wanted this and perhaps the person that is doing that to you really wanted this person for so long and now they show up when you have this amazing connection it's like what do i want or what did i do kind of energy the six of wands in the reverse it's like finally i won like technically finally i got everything i wanted or finally this person reached out but 
it doesn't feel like a win because it feels like oh my god now that i have this now i for real have to make a decision now this person wants something and i don't know if i want it or i don't know who to go for because you sometimes tend to bond with these people very intensely so you have already a bond with the the person that could be newer and this person that again it was from the past perhaps for others of you or somebody that you met before so i do see a lot of confusion when it comes to your energy of like what do i do what do i do um yes (sighs) uh the two of swords this is you um having to cut the cord with somebody make the decision um nobody else could do it for you so i do see that you're going to be in between two people with the wheel of fortune it's like it's a change a change of your life a change of scenarios like i said before i do feel like for a long time you could have felt like alone or that nobody was really good or that you could never find love and now you have two potential energies so it's like in between two energies scorpio you know how the universe does it before you get nothing and now you got 10 times more than you asked so at this point it's like who do you pick who do i go for and the sad thing is like you know and i I know you know that one of them will be out of your life mr perfect the star in the reverse yes the universe has given you what you wanted and just not how you expected it huh right and this is like a, a feeling i do hear hope i don't know what that means and this is like you have to be strong to make sure that you get your happy ending to make sure you get exactly what you want and this is inner strength and i do feel like it's hard because nobody likes to hurt, to hurt other people's feelings but i do feel like this is gonna be like the final countdown baby you have to make a decision here somebody they both want a relationship they both want you they both want the same thing as you and i do see that you have that they have qualities that you like on them but they're both different qualities though different qualities and they both have the potential to be your future hubby or wifey though so at this point oopsie they see um is what i see and there's gonna be a moment of like oh my gosh you're gonna be so stressed you're gonna be i wish i was single (laughs) i wish i didn't have to to deal with this because again it's not an easy thing to be into two people that have potential so i feel like it is gonna be a hard one though it is gonna be a hard one look look at you (laughs) you're like i just don't know what i want i just don't know so i will highly recommend you to listen to your intuition to perhaps take a breather uh take some sort of time before you make any real decisions because i feel like you're not in the mindset or you won't be in the mindset of making these decisions because again you're not the kind of person that likes to hurt people's feelings you do take it personally but we got here a magician i do feel like the one that you're gonna go for is somebody if it's a male this light skin and they have like a beard and they have like brownish hair and they got pretty 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 eyes and with the seven of swords this uh player person that i do see for most of you is the one that comes in too that is somebody that you really really wanted at one point and now they come in when you're meeting this person but i feel that you're gonna go with a newer energy perhaps you know others of you may be going with the other one but i do feel like you know you know for sure that you're safer with the newer energy but at the end of the day keep in mind that there is no escaping out of this you're gonna be in a relationship very very soon it's just gonna be you have to pick it's like the bachelor (laughs) kind of shows so good luck because you need it you need it in love let me before i go i want to give you a little bit with when it comes to career as well though okay let's see let's see career Mm, i do feel you finding a good job as well Uh, if you have a business it may not go well immediately but i do feel like it has the potential to do so i do feel like this gonna be if you have a business like i said it's more investing starting over be careful because you have fake people around you that claim that they want the best for you but they don't 
and some people like enjoy seeing you struggle so if you do decide to move if you do decide to do a business or so do everything quietly because not everybody likes to see you shine and these are people that you call best friends sometimes now i do see as well that there is um job opportunity is a good job and at the same time they're telling me as well to be careful with co-workers if you work for somebody to not be a thousand percent trusting over them and with the five of cups right here it does seem right here that you need to be careful with again co-workers eh, because i just feel like they talk behind bad behind you and they're just like wanting to get you fired allegedly and other of you babes is more about if you're starting your own business or thinking about it do it silently don't share all the details because i Again, you got people who are bitter bitter i don't know why but again if you are working somewhere a bartender or whatever it is that you do be careful because somebody is jealous of you now we got here the spiritual animal you got the coyote and it's just playful playfulness and it says this is a reminder to not take things too seriously and bring more balance between wisdom and playfulness you might need to lighten up about a matter that has been on your mind for a while so guys this is the end of the reading i hope you liked it please don't forget to like and subscribe and again i love you guys so much and you're gonna check all the all the links are gonna be in the description box below you have an amazing day and blessings